Hey guys, so today we went out to our colonies and we pulled off our early batch of honey. We do this every year. It's, it's a real light honey usually and um, it's a really nice product. So we pull, you know, several five gallon buckets of that. And what we're doing in here, all of it's not capped over. So, uh, and we know the moisture content is not going to be perfect. So we're in our honey house and we're going to dehydrate the, the honey and we want to bring you along and show you how we do it. What we got, we've got a heavy duty industrial fan. You can pick them up at any of the big box stores, Home Depot or Lowe's. And uh, we run this on high constantly for several days, blowing the air across the supers. And we'll show you how we do that. But in conjunction with the fan, we have a heater on in this honey house. And we also got our dehumidifier running constantly. And we'll do that for a day to maybe up to three, depending on hive beetles and things like that. We didn't see any beetles in this batch. so. Hopefully we'll be good on that and uh, we'll show you how we blow it across the, the supers. Guys, on this, the, the honeycomb, whenever it's in a frame, it sets up at an angle. It's not flat. So we've got the fan situated where it blows across and down into those cappings. And what that's going to do is that's going to aid in dehydrating the honey for us. Bees typically do it themselves by uh, moving their wings and vibrating and uh, airflow in the colony but we're going to speed that process up using our, our equipment so we have a constant fan blowing this way and over here if you look we have our dehumidifier on high and we also have a heater running this heater will heat this building up pretty well um, it's 84 degrees in here now and it, it'll keep continuing to climb if you look right here before we started, our humidity was in the 40s, and it's already dropped it down to 27%. So a few days of that, with that air movement across the, the honey, will uh, really bring that moisture content down. And when I say bring it down, it, we tested it a little while ago, and it was like 18 point, almost 19% relative humi or moisture content in the honey. Uh, and what we're wanting is, I like it to be about 16.5 to 17.5. So we're wanting to drop it down a couple of points. That heater is getting hot. Uh, and what we use is a refractometer to check it. It's, it's not a fancy one. We keep our expensive one put up. But this one's, uh, I got it off Amazon. It's reasonably accurate with it. Uh, you do need a refractometer if you're going to uh, extract uncapped cells and things like that. But we typically don't have any issues running it. And we're going to run it a day or so in, in, in this hot environment and no humidity. And, We'll test it again. It'll, it'll bring it down on several points, I'm sure. Uh, and when we do that, we'll extract it and we'll have our early batch. Um, back in the day, we used to shake the frames and see if, if any nectar would come out. And if it didn't, we'd extract it anyway. But sometimes that, that'll bite you in the rear end. So what we're doing, I recommend a refract if you're really serious about honey extracting. And you don't have to have a real expensive one. That's calibrated by uh, extra virgin olive oil. And it, like 20 or 30 dollars on Amazon. So we want to bring you along and give you an idea of what it looks like. We want to you know, show you the fan blowing across it too, but it was pretty loud so I turned it off while I was talking. So that's what we're doing. You can dehydrate honey yourself. It doesn't have to be capped. If you've got the space and the equipment to do it, you can, you can pull that moisture content, content down and uh, go ahead and pull it off before it's capped. And some commercial guys pull most of their honey uncapped and they put it in the hot room and dehumidify de de it. So that's what we're doing today. Just wanted to bring you along. And what Carson's doing, he's just turning the fan on. We're going to get this stuff blowing back in through these supers again. Um, hopefully this will be a little bit over five gallons and we'll have it, we'll have it lit and do it again in a, in a week or so. Thanks for watching and happy beekeeping.